So let's look at composite functions. A composition of functions occurs when we apply one function to the result of another function. So for example, if I've got two functions, and let's call them f of x and g of x, I can get a composition of functions by saying that I want f of g of x. I could have g of f of x. I could also have f of f of x or g of g of x. And all of these are applying the function after the function inside the bracket. So it's f after I've done g of x, it's g after I've done f of x, f after I've applied f of x, and g after I've applied g of x. So the first example, if I've got f of x equals x minus 4 and g of x equals 1 over x squared, in part a I want to find f of g of x and g of f of x. And then I want to state their largest possible domains, remembering that domain is the input to the function. So it will be the values of x that will allow this function to be true. So, for part a, first of all, I need to consider what f of x equals. So f of x equals x minus 4. So f of g of x means that I'm going to replace all of the x values with g of x. So I'm going to replace that x with g of x minus 4. Now my g of x is 1 over x squared. So that means that I've got 1 over x squared, take away 4, is my f of g of x. So for part 2 of example 1, I'm going to start off with my g of x, and this time that's 1 over x squared. Now I want g of f of x, so I want to replace that x with my f of x function, and it's squared this time. So if I replace that f of x with the value of f of x, which is x minus 4, then I'm going to have 1 over x minus 4 all squared. So in part b, I'm asked to state their largest possible domains. So the restriction on both of these functions is that I can't divide by 0. So in part b, part 1, I know that x squared cannot equal 0. And that means that x also cannot equal 0. So my largest possible domain is that x is the set of all real numbers except when it's 0. So x cannot equal 0. In B part 2, it's the x minus 4 all squared bracket that cannot equal 0. So therefore, x cannot equal 4. So again, x is going to be a member of the set of all real numbers, but x cannot have a value of 4. So, in our second example, if m of x equals 5x plus 4 and n of x equals x squared, I want to evaluate m after n of 2. So I'm going to evaluate the inside first. So I want to work out what n of 2 is, and then I'm going to substitute that value into my m of x function in order to work out what m of n of 2 is, or m after n of 2. So the first thing I want to do is evaluate n of 2. So I know that n of x equals x squared. So that means that n of 2, I'm replacing that x with a 2, so it's going to be 2 squared, so my n of 2 value is 4. My m of x function was 5x plus 4. So my m of n of 2 equals m of 4. So I'm going to replace that x with a 4, so it's 5 multiplied by 4 plus 4. Remembering to apply baud mass, it's 20 plus 4, and that gives me a final value of 24 for my function.